O.J. Simpson, the former football star who gained infamy after being charged with the murders of his ex-wife and her friend, has died of cancer. Nearly 30 years ago, a jury found him not guilty in what was called the trial of the century. But doubt about the verdict trailed Simpson for the rest of his life. The case sparked debate over race, criminal justice, and the very cameras that allowed tens of millions of people to closely watch the riveting trial. Mary Beth McDay joining us in the studio with a look at the rise and the fall of O.J. Simpson. MB. Rick and Cher, despite earning fame and fortune as a football star and in show business, many believe O.J. Simpson's legacy will be for the Bronco chase and the murder charges involving his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. After nine months of gavel-to-gavel -gavel TV coverage, O.J. Simpson was found not guilty of murdering his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman. Millions of people around the world tuned in to watch the verdict. He was the most famous American ever charged with murder. Former LAPD officer Jim Amarmino had the tough task of controlling the massive amount of media and crowds that camped outside the courthouse during the entire trial. So we managed the media frenzy there. There were a lot of people from all around the world. I remember speaking to people from England, France, Germany, Russia. They flew all the way out there just to stand in front of the courthouse and be part of it. Simpson's lawyers, known as the Dream Team, claim sloppy police work and systematic racism in his defense. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Now, nearly 30 years later, the man at the center of what was dubbed the trial of the century has died at the age of 76 of prostate cancer. Well, it was a very dramatic time in American history. The country was divided along racial lines and the evidence was divided. This was Simpson's last social media post in February. My health is good. I mean, obviously I'm dealing with some issues, uh, but hey, I think I'm just about over it. The former football star was once known for running into the record books on the field and for charming people on the big and small screen. But Simpson went from famous to infamous after Ron and Nicole were found stabbed to death at Nicole's Brentwood home on June 12, 1994. A very bloody, terrible murder scene. A few days later, Simpson would lead police on a notorious slow-speed Bronco chase. The southbound 405, as you know, is a parking lot with everybody stopped. Although Simpson was acquitted on murder charges, two years later, he was found liable for their deaths in a civil trial and ordered to pay the Brown and Goldman families more than $30 million. The Goldman family released a statement saying, the news of Ron's killer passing away is a mixed bag of complicated emotions and reminds us that the journey through grief is not linear. For three decades, we tirelessly pursued justice for Ron and Nicole, and despite a civil judgment and his confession in If I Did It, the hope for true accountability has ended. And Kano Kalin, Simpson's house guest and key witness, expressed condolences to Simpson's family and love towards the Goldman and Brown families. To the family of the beautiful Nicole Brown Simpson, may we always cherish her memories. Nicole was a beacon of, of light that burned bright. Simpson did end up spending nine years behind bars after being found guilty for armed robbery and kidnapping. It stemmed from a 2007 incident in a Las Vegas hotel where Simpson claimed he was taking back sports memorabilia he believed belonged to him. He was released on parole in 2017. And I will be no problem, you know, and I, I think I kept my word. Uh, I... As I said, I've done my time. After Simpson was released from prison, he lived out the rest of his life in Las Vegas. He is survived by four children and grandchildren. Cher? Mary Beth, thank you. Stay with KTLA for continuing coverage on the death of O.J. Simpson. We will have more at 1030 with reaction and the impact of the trial in L.A. For the latest details anytime, head to KTLA.com or our free KTLA 5 app.